Hello, I'm Tim Morris. I'm going to show you real quick out of the Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement, the FAA CT8080. I'm going to discuss figure 39, the wire chart, and we're going to look at a couple of questions. The first question we're going to look at says, refer to figure 39. That's this wire chart. Determine the cable size of a 40 foot length of single cable in free air with continuous rating running from the bus to the equipment in the 28 volt system with a 15 amp load and a 1 volt drop. Okay, let me just repeat the details. It's a 40 foot cable. It's in what they call free air. It's not in a wire bundle or anything like that. It has uh, the flow through is going to be continuous, continuous rating. We have a 28 volt system 15 amps is the load and a 1 volt drop. So the question is determine the wire size. So we're going to look at figure 39 and what we're going to do is we're first going to look at this 15 amp load and we have a diagonal line and we're going to follow that line down until it intersects this one here for 40 feet. Now what we have over here is we have the 28 volt column. So this is our first step is to find this intersection. Next we're going to look, we're going to follow this down this, this intersection to here and it puts us between the 12 gauge and the 10 gauge wire. So we always go to a larger wire size when we're, when we're in between these. It just so happens that the way wires are numbered is 10 gauge is a larger wire than, than 12 gauge. Yeah, I, I know it seems backwards, but that's the way the uh, numbers are wired. So we're going to go to the larger 10 gauge wire and um, to, to carry this 15 amp load for 40 feet. And we're not going to have more than a 1 volt drop here. Let's look at question number two. Question number two, same figure, 39. Determine the maximum length of a number 16 cable to be installed from a bus to the equipment in a 28 volt system with a 25 amp intermittent load and a one volt drop. So in this one, we're gonna uh, take this diagonal line for 25 amps and it's going to go down here uh, and to the 20 amp and 30 amp is where we're going to be right here. We're going to follow this down until it intersects this 16 gauge wire or 16 gauge line. Okay, at this point, this this happens just above this curve. This is curve number three, and uh, for eight feet length, uh, go across here to the to the 8 foot on the 28 volt column. So a number 16 cable can carry an intermittent load of 25 amps for 8 feet uh, without exceeding their, the maximum voltage drop here of 1 volt. This curve line down here is a limit and so if we see this on some other questions um, that doesn't mean that the curve is where our answer is. This curve for whatever the situation is, uh, whether it be in a bundle of wires or whether it be in free air, these curves are going to set a limit. And if we have to go past this limit, we, we have to stop at the limit, right? So hope this one helps. Uh, there's, there's about four questions that the FA has on this, um, on this figure. Thanks for watching.